hello welcome back to my channel um, in this video I'm going to do a Madame Glam made in color set of nails um, I copied a set off of Natalie Mugridge I feel really bad when I do that sort of thing do you know what I mean like I'm copying but my imagination shit and she's got some amazing nails so I just think oh, I'll just copy so if I really hope I don't upset anyone by copying but I just you know find it easier so Natalie Mugridge done a flag set of nails so I assume a lot sort of copied it so to try and keep them in line with each other the best thing I do is just put them next to each other and then just do the first line and then I can just carry on from there so what I've done was I pre um, polished my tips so I put white on and then I put on some top coat non-white top coat and then I buffed it just to make it matte um, because I didn't want to use my matte top coat so what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure that all the line, the first red line is solid. And then once I've done the red line, I'll flash cure it for like 10, 15 seconds. And then I'll go in with my next color. But I was showing you only on the first nails because when I finished doing this video, it was 50 minutes long. So I've got it down to like 11 minutes or something. So once you put your color on, make sure you go down to the edges as well so that it's covered. And then you just flash cure that and then you just go into your next color. So I just did that with all the colors. Um, I just, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether this is a good set. I quite liked it. I enjoyed doing it. Um, I did notice though that I had to give them two coats just to make the color really pop and stand out. Do you know what I mean? It stood out enough, but I wanted it a bit more vibrant. So I did, once I finished it, I went over the colors again, just to make sure that they're vibrant and you know you can really see them but I was really happy with them and these these polishes are really lovely really lovely so this is me just putting all my six colors um so how is everyone doing anyone back to work yet I've been at work since the first of May and to be honest with you it's not too bad now it's quiet and down now that other shops have been open for like a week or two it's quite quiet at work which is nice because you get time to breathe time to think time to just get on with what else you've got to do your other tasks at work so um yeah it's quite nice um oh leopard print t-shirt Ooh, I hate leopard print i don't know why do you know what it is because <laughs> of because of being in lockdown um i obviously sat in it and put on weight so nothing i own not even i've got one pair of jeans that fit me properly and this this leopard print top can't bear it it's like why do middle-aged room wear leopard print? I do not know. I'm trying to avoid that. So, what am I doing now? Oh, your next colour. Um, yeah, I just followed the line, really, all the way round. You know, I quite enjoyed doing this set of nails, like I said. I just thought I'd be a bit adventurous, really. I'm not try and be a boring, farty old middle-aged woman and be adventurous. Look, I made a flag! I made a flag! <laughs> I'll tell you something. That was easier to make than I thought. I just paint. I've just got the back of a nail form, the shiny side, painted my stripes, and then I tried to sort of manipulate it and hold it under the light in my LED, my UV light, LED light, sorry. And it just kept the shape. It's quite thin, so it's very delicate. And then I just top coated it. I weren't sure whether I was going to use the flag. To be honest with you, I flash cured it, and to be honest, I don't know why, because I think I like solid cured it afterwards but yeah I was really happy with my little flag it was so cute it's my first bit of 3d work and I thought where am I going to put this flag and I thought I'll stick it there it took me ages to stick that on there I'll tell you I had to get some super glue because I've got no nail glue yeah look and it was sh I'll tell you something it took me like five minutes to get that to stay in place but I'm quite happy with the way it turned out do you know what I mean? It's quite a nifty looking flag, isn't it? I was so proud of myself. I was like, <laughs> um, Yeah, so I was going to try and do, I'll link Natalie's video in with my description. Natalie done musical notes. I did try and do it and it took me ages and ages and ages. And in the end, I just, I wrote love, but then I couldn't do an E. So I've done a big love heart here because I couldn't do an E. It took me ages. I was getting so frustrated trying to do an E. It was getting on my nerves, man. And I used actual acrylic paint for this. I didn't use gel um, to paint with. 
see what um some people look see it's so cute right it's the other one so um what i do is with the acrylic paint because i'm painting it on a matte top coat it actually soaks right in and it annoys me so i'll clean it off with pure acetone get as much of it out and then i just buff it and it takes it away it's like a rubber you're just rubbing away the, the stain inside it's gone it's cold don't worry about it it's fine um i've not tried it on glossy paint polish yeah so this is the red madame glam burlesque and i just added a bit of clear coat just to like loot uh make it a little bit thinner i think and now this is me just top coating them it's time to top coat these puppies and as you can see i can't i can't i just can't stay in bloody shot i don't know what's the matter with me do you know i've deleted so much stuff out of this video it was ridiculous um, yeah top coating time's not really visible is it really uh, anyway um i top coated them and baked it under my light for 30 seconds and they were set lovely um yeah and then what did i do do you know what? i don't know i just top coated them but yeah, you know what? My memory's absolute pants. Absolute pants. Pants, pants, pants. Yeah, on that last nail, I was thinking, should I put something on there? And I was like, oh, I don't know, because the flag's on it. But it looks a bit weird with just the white top and bottom. But I've done the flag, so I'm not sure. I was going to, I actually was going to do Love Heart Nail with wings coming off of it. Yeah, that one ain't happening. I'm going to need some serious practice doing that sort of stuff. But I might do. But then again, I might not. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try some stuff. I was so excited about doing this set. I put this video up early. I was that excited. But this is them finished. Um, I've done my love. My love. Mm -hmm. um, I've done my flag. I'm quite pleased with that flag. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. <laughs> I've never done it before. And I'm like, yeah. See, I've done talking on this bit, <laughs> and then I've just now done a voiceover on it. E. So I'm telling you about how I done the E, didn't do the E, and done the big love heart. But I've already told you that. You don't want to hear it twice, right? It's boring. No. Um, I'll tell you something. If you want to have a go at doing something, just try it. If you don't try it, you'll never know. You will never know. And I'm really happy with these, this set of nails. I need to find some way of displaying them, because I don't want to just throw them in a box. I'm frightened that that flag's going to pop off. I mean, if it popped off, it wouldn't matter. It's not like it's going to go on show, in it. But yeah, I was thinking maybe I should put some in there, but I weren't sure because of the flag. But I'm so pleased with that. And a bit of super glue kept that puppy on tight. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, and you know, you know, ask me something. See if I can try it. You know, give me suggestions on something to do. Something easy, nothing hard. I'm an amateur, not a professional. Um, something easy that you think I might be able to do. You know, either pick an image, leave the link in the description box or the comments box, or pick a video, leave the, the link for that in the comments box below, and I'll go and have a look and I'll try it. And I'll give you a genuine, genuine um, video on it yeah so um if i don't push myself i'll never get any better you know and that's how i've become to do nails because i've made myself do it because i want to i thoroughly enjoy doing nails i absolutely love doing them and i really enjoy making videos and i don't don't want to do it for money mm -mm, that ain't me if i wanted to do it for money i'd be a professional nail tech and i'm not into that do you know what i mean i enjoy this because i love doing it i enjoy doing the videos whether you enjoy them or not, there's nothing I can do about that. I am actually being 100% me, I'm, and I'm, you know, I can't um, be fake. I'm not going to be fake, and I don't do that sort of thing. I don't, I, there's no airs and graces about me, love, I tell you. What you hear is what you get, and that is how I speak to people. Um, I do have a phone voice, and I do have a tannoy voice. But when I'm talking to people, this is me, and this is how I speak. Um, yeah, leave me something in the description box, you know, a link to either an image or a video you've seen on YouTube that you think that I could do, and I will try and do it for you. You know, I've got a, I need some challenges. I need somebody else to challenge me on something. 
Challenge me. Challenge me. I'll tell you something. I'm mad. You know why I'm mad? Because I've finished work and I'm really happy because tomorrow's Sunday. I ain't got to go in. Which is really bloody nice. Really bloody nice. Look at them. I'm so pleased with that set. I don't know what else to say. It seems like this piece is really dragging on. <laughs> Oh my lordy! Um, yeah. Come on, Mish. When's the end of this video gonna be? It seems to be going on forever. Do you know what I've been looking at videos of that Fimo Clay, Fimo Clay stuff? So I bought myself a little set. I'm gonna try and make something out of Fimo Clay. And what I'll do is I'll make a video on that. And, and I'll... Uh, you know, try it, right? I like crafty things. Look at that flag. Look at the bend in that flag. Oh my lordy. I'm so proud of that flag. Yeah, I've just got to practice to do my writing a bit better, I think. Anyway, leave any comments in the, the comments box below, pictures or videos, see what I can do. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because I'm here to entertain in some way, shape or form. I'll see you all in my next video. You take care. Take it easy. Don't forget your masks on Monday when you're going shopping. And I shall see you later. You take it easy. Ta-da. Bye.